Hello, the following is a sponsored video. Anyway, my opinion will not be swayed by it. Just so you know, the game is free for this Easter weekend, free to play 100%, and after that, you can have a discount if you actually enjoy the game and want to purchase. One purchase, no subscription, no pay to win, you play forever. The link is obviously in the description. And now let's start. I know the first question you have in mind. Is this pay to win? Answer, absolutely not. Anything you pay just go toward uh, aesthetic and uh, cosmetic uh, things. No functionality in game at all. There is a lot of PvP in it, world PvP, so you can get ganked uh, in certain areas that are considered dangerous. Someone even tried to take me down midair and that wasn't very nice. You pay the initial price and no subscription and the market transaction, as I said, are purely cosmetic. For example, you can purchase the Arch Passes. I'll explain what it is now. Seasons last 3 months. Each season players have access to 3 different passes tweaked for the major gameplay styles such as, of course, combat, vocation, equipment. I will explain a little bit of those later in the video. Each of those passes require approximately 1 month for completion. Each pass is split into two tracks with a shared progression. Complete mission in order to level up your passes and unlock the next tier reward. The free track of the pass available for everyone contains progression and power items required to progress in the game, such as labor potions, infusion, etc. Again, I'll explain a little bit of those later. These tracks also reward you for uh, with diligence coins. I'll explain that later. The premium track of the pass obtainable via purchase contains cosmetic items such as costume design, uh, dyes, uh, you know, cosmetic uh, things. And that's the only thing you can get with the premium one. Digits coins, you can use them in the marketplace by completing the free tracks of the art passes as I explained before. You will obtain these coins. You can use those uh, coins to acquire power items that can only be acquired this way. So basically only grinding and hard work and... Uh, yeah, basically that. And now let's see some of my progression. Oh, look this baby elk! A few minutes later. And there we are. Check out these house details. Nice. And I got my first glider. Whee! Ooh, a mining cave. I love mining. Check out this beauty. I gotta say, this is one of the most aesthetically pleasing games I've ever played, honestly. Seriously, it's really, really gorgeous. Even the in-game art is... Uh, uh, how can I say? It's... Uh, interesting. I beg your pardon? I am very offended. You can play the flute or the lute. I don't remember which one. Basically, one restores the mana, the other one restores HP. I have chosen the Swift Blade because uh, I wanted to stay out of my comfort zone and because they told me to. It is, of course, as you can might imagine, a rogue class. Someone specialized in uh, disabling uh, the enemy. Very mobile, very agile. Smoke screen. Uh, uh, so you understand. I'm very bad at it, so don't don't, don't take my actions as uh, what you should expect, because as I said, I'm very bad. Anyway, uh, yeah, the class is uh, quite simple, I mean simple, yeah. Not exactly simple, because you have many things to, to take an eye on for the combos. But it's quite powerful uh, in the right hands. Mine are definitely not the right hands, I'm a mage by, by nature. I will uh, convert my other healer into a mage because uh, I, this was supposed to be a two-man uh, uh, adventure but the other guy bolted out so no worries one particular good thing and different from other games is that you can overachieve in this game basically the quest is kill eight uh, thieves but if you kill more you're actually gonna get uh, bigger rewards gonna get more not more HP but more money you can see in a moment you're gonna see overachieve here yep extra progress 
so you get extra money for that okay let's sit let's sit let's eat uh this one here oh come on okay thank you okay that is quite impressive reminds me of the castles of austria i love these medieval settings i really really do really beautiful you know what this must be one of the most beautiful mmorpg i've seen so far at least it's my taste really really nice look at this they even copied my house how dare them i didn't give them permission to copy my house well anyway it's already in the game take your story quest uh, item open the gear upgrade put it in auto list so it will automatically put the synthesizer materials synthesize and it will upgrade to the next rarity yay that's how it works okay let's open a portal to this location Finally, here we are. The Blue Salt Brotherhood. Finally, after all this time. Hmm. Here in the kiln, you can craft uh, siege ammo because there is also uh, siege warfare in this game and nav naval warfare. And here we got our masonry, I suppose. Yes. Warrior Sealstone combines the power of a full set of Scarlet Reaper equipment resulting in a crafting material used to make recent warrior ah, some uh, very advanced uh, crafting I suppose. This is an impressive meal. Aye aye Captain, we are selling off. <laughs> Shiver me timber. You mother f So this is how the main uh, skill uh, works. Very different from other uh, uh, MMORPG I've seen. Basically you choose your first uh, class of course when you create your character and this, uh, it is uh, this one. You can choose uh, which one to get. Of course you're gonna need a certain level to, to be able to choose. Uh, in, in this case uh, I need level 35 to get the Dusk uh, Shroud. And the deposit skill you get automatically according to how many uh, skills you have uh, put in. So for example you need 4 to get Predator Instinct. Increase with blade skill damage by 10%. Then at level 10 you can choose an off class and at level 15 you can choose another off class. Which one you to choose? Well it's up to you, depending on your playstyle. The skills, uh, some skills, almost all of them, combo with other ones. For example, take Swift Blade. You can see in the bottom, first attack decreases the attack speed of snare targets by minus 40 for 3 seconds, stack up 3 times. Second attack decreases the attack speed of stun target by 40 for 3 seconds, stack up 3 times. So, uh, how do you know which effect gives that? Which skill is that? Go to skill combos, choose your skill, and then you will see what does. If you take, for example, this one, charge, that creates the snare. You can see the icon there, under effect granted. And you can see that it will combo with that. So if you take battle rage, you can choose a, a charge. So when you charge, they get snared for uh, 5 seconds. And that means that your first attack increases the attack speed of snare targets by 40 for 3 seconds. So how to, do we get the stun one? Well, just look for it. What gives stun? There you go. Hammer Toss. Hammer Toss gives stun. And once again, it combos with this one. So you, if you can take the Battle Rage and get these two ones, with the Blade Flurry, you will uh, decrease the attack speed of snare target by 40 for uh, and decrease the attack speed of stun target. Basically, you can uh, minus 80 
for three it's uh, 240 for three seconds and uh, same thing with, with the other with the other skills take this one for example crescent strike uh, inflicts uh, distress uh, on uh, shaken targets for seven seconds so just need to find what deals uh, um, shaken there you go behind enemy lines this one inflict shaken and the combos with other skills so you can just make your, your whole uh, build as much as you want if you want to be a healer just choose uh, your vitalism and once again go to skill combo choose uh, vitalism to know what deals best for example this is the main heal and uh, it uh, combos with uh, free runner so you can just uh, choose uh, what gives you free runner which is the shadow play so get free runner and you get uh, no cooldown for 30 seconds cooldown removed while caster is under the effect of free runner and so on and so forth your emotes and your proficiency of course your proficiency uh, it's uh, on uh, uh, crafting uh, harvesting uh, special you can construct your house cottage uh, you can steal your commerce uh, basically just trading within uh, the faction and uh, other player artistry exploration etc etc i got 50 points for exploration because i found uh, accidentally the summit of a mountain now with a quick math calculation you'll find out that there are 220 different combinations of classes available in arch age there's no other game out there that offers these many combination of classes another cool thing there are actual naval battle i mean actual naval battle if you want to be a pirate as well you can be a pirate if you want to and yeah introduce the you know pirates of the caribbean jokes here another very cool stuff that is pretty much unique it's the actual castle siege warfare you can actually participate in sieges awesome there's also a charity event that you can participate during the free weekend if you wish to do so in this game you can literally build your house wherever you want you can actually build your house if you're a mason you can build a villa or a uh, how you call it a mansion if you have enough resources and time to grind it all up but you actually can so uh, you can specialize in um, you can see here two harvesting three crafting and two special and you can increase your specialization by buying uh, these uh, specialization snowflake that only cost 10 uh, copper so it's, it's quite cheap now keep in mind i didn't have time to actually play a lot of this game and uh, there are pff, a ton of uh, other uh, features to discover and find uh, it's uh, just go look for the wiki because there is a lot of stuff in this game when you buy from the shop you get of course the game and anything else is merely aesthetic so, as I explained, these are only a very, very small portion of all the features this game offers. For this Easter weekend, the game is free, 100% free. And after that, there are discounts in case you enjoy it and want to purchase the game. One purchase, you play it forever. So, give it a look. It's not going to hurt you and you might actually find it enjoyable. It's best played with other people though, for my experience at least. The link is in the description and I realize that I used the word uh, actually, actually too much. Forgive about that. So, thank you guys for watching, and as always, don't forget to improve yourselves.